Starting a business is exciting, but let me tell you, it's not always pretty. My first ramek business was a total flop. I was too shy to promote it, afraid to even tell my friends. I literally tried to stay anonymous, but this time, I did things differently. I started out just making mugs, learning everything from scratch, and trying to figure it all out as I went along. But before we dive into how I turned that initial failure into a business I'm proud of today, and how you can skip the mistakes and start strong, let me share something that's been a game changer for me. And that's why I'm excited to partner with Universe. Universe is this amazing drag and drop app that lets you create beautiful websites and online stores. You can choose a personalized.com domain and fully customize it to match your brand. Another awesome thing is you can use Universe on pretty much any device. Whether you're on your iPhone, iPad, or even your computer, you can build and edit your site from anywhere. You can start with one of pre-made templates or if you're feeling creative, you can start from a blank canvas and build your site from scratch. Personally, my favorite thing about Universe is just how intuitive it is. I love how I can drag and drop everything exactly where I want it, which means I don't need to worry about complex design tools. Also, the customization options are endless and the platform itself is super responsive across all devices. It's honestly one of the most user-friendly site builders I've ever used. Now, if you're based in the US and looking to sell your creations, Universe Sell Blog lets you start making money in minutes. It's perfect for all artists, small business owners, or anyone who wants to sell physical or digital products. Got prints or designs you want to sell? Use the download blog to offer digital goods. Not in the US? No worries. You can still use the PayPal blog to accept payments globally so no one gets left out. Universe also makes running your business super easy with built-in tools to manage inventory, generate shipping labels, and even create discount codes all in one place. And the best part? You can get started with Universe for free. But trust me, you'll want to upgrade to Pro if you're serious about selling. With Pro, you remove Universe branding, unlock advanced customization features, and even get access to the code block for more control over your size design. So if you're thinking about starting a website or upgrading your current one, I've got two links in the description below. One is to get 25% off your first year of Universe Pro and another to try Universe for free. So definitely check them out if you're ready to take your business or personal brand to the next level. Let's start off with mindset shift. Don't wait for everything to be perfect. Just start. I'm grateful I didn't have this mindset when I first began because it can really hold you back from selling your work. My first collection was all over the place. None of my mugs were functional. I probably sold 8 out of 20 pieces, but I was still proud and happy to have created them. They may look like ordinary mugs, but to me, they're unique. Made them with my own hands, and that alone is enough. I actually approach it backwards, starting with making the product before anything else. No business plan, no logos, no brands. The point here is to enjoy it before I even start making for other people. I have to enjoy it for myself first. It has to be me first before anyone else, you know? When I first started with ceramics, I knew absolutely nothing. Everything I learned came from YouTube, Google, articles, blah blah blah. And I didn't even realize there were different types of clay or glazes. But despite my lack of knowledge, I was still able to sell my pieces. If I compare my work now to then, it's clear how much I've improved. Takeaway here is to start messy, embrace imperfection, and keep improving as you go. This isn't the first time I started a ceramic business. My first one, I started back in 2020. I made, this was a major trend a few years ago. As an artist with various hobbies, it's challenging to, to be just one, so I ended up adding another to the mix. I stayed anonymous because I, I didn't want anyone to know about my small business and I was really afraid of being judged. I wasn't very confident in my products. Like any other struggling artist, I was trying to find a way to make a living from my art and since I majored in oil painting, I didn't believe in myself enough at the time to sell my paintings. Instead, I chose a different path and kept painting as just a hobby. Although I knew my designs weren't particularly unique, I still managed to sell them and made around 200 Fast forward to 2024, when I decided to get back into working with clay. My brother had been encouraging me to give it another shot, but I wasn't fully on board because I was stuck in a day job that I hated. When you're in that position, it feels like you can never escape, and you get stuck in this small mindset. I kept telling him, nah, it's probably not going to work again, and besides, I was doing it for the money before. What makes today any different? 
Since 2022, I've found myself in a place of desperation, longing to reconnect with art and rediscover what truly brings me joy. I wanted to bring back the person I used to be, the one who was in love with art. But somewhere along the way, I lost my direction and my sense of purpose. I did some paintings last year, but while working on them, I felt like something was still missing. Couldn't figure out what it was. I even tried learning tattooing to fill the emptiness inside, but that didn't work either. So I ended up buying 12 kilograms of clay. It just sat on my shelf for a month and a half. I was so scared of touching it. Not knowing what to do with it scared me. I was afraid that once I started working with clay, I'd lose interest, get bored, and move on to another hobby like before. And so it actually came naturally. After that one night clay session with my friends, I had so much fun that I found myself saying, I want to start a business. One thing I see a lot, especially with new small business owners, is naming their brand something like cheese shop instead of creating a unique brand name while that might work in the beginning it can really limit you as you grow when your business starts scaling you'll want a brand that feels bigger and more versatile i wanted something that speaks for me a brand that reflects my creative journey of overcoming doubt and staying true to who i am so i came up with muse this feels a lot bigger than chic studio as that was the initial brand name that i was going for i started this brand with a big vision in mind while ceramics are my main focus right now i've always aimed for more my goal is to expand my product range and build something truly significant over time. Now, don't spend too much time on this or stress about it. Remember, don't wait for everything to be perfect. Just keep moving forward. I love this part because I can't wait to share my story of starting from the bottom in my bedroom to now having an office and a studio. So start somewhere, whether it's your room, your garage, or your parents' living room. You'll be proud of how far you've come once you have your own space. For now, let's make the most of what we have. As an artist, I dream of having my own office and studio too, but that can wait. Right now, I'm working in a co-working space, but I don't find it useful. So once my contract ends next month, I'll be back to working at home in the living room. I used to work in my bedroom, but it affected my health because I was inhaling the dust from the clay. So please make sure to work in a space with good ventilation. If you're on a tight budget, I'd recommend starting with hand building method. You don't need a wheel. Your hands are enough to craft a masterpiece. I've been using the hand building method exclusively. Personally, I'm not a fan of the results when using a wheel comes out too perfect for my liking and I prefer my pieces to have that wobbly shape or visible fingerprints giving them a more authentic handcrafted look. One common barrier for beginners is thinking they need a kiln right away. While you don't need one to start your business, you do need access to one to fire your pieces. You can usually take your work to a local pottery studio or clay shop. Just as around, some places will fire your pieces while others may only offer the service to their students. I take mine to my local clay shop for firing a full kiln cost me 55 euros where while a half gallon is around 40 euros. A heads up though, it can take quite some time to get your pieces fired unless you've pre-booked a slot. This is one part I don't enjoy much because I hate waiting. I always want to see the results immediately. Make a test piece. This is a step I skip and I regret it. If you're planning to sell mugs or plates, test your glaze on the actual product itself on a map for instance. Creating a basic test style, like a simple circle or square, might show you the color but it won't always give you the full picture. Glazes can look different when applied to the actual product so it's best to test on what you'll be selling. This is probably the most crucial step but it's also the one I've avoided the most. Didn't want to overwhelm myself with too much planning. I'm someone who enjoys planning. But once I dive deep into it, I get lost and overwhelmed. And I end up stuck in a planning phase without taking action. If you're like me, my advice is to listen to others' advice. Because I didn't and now I feel all over the place. Honestly, I'm not in the best position to give advice on this step since I haven't really followed it myself. So I won't go into too much detail. You do you. Choose your struggle and I choose mine. I choose to ignore it. Just kidding. I started with TikTok and it really helped me generate sales in the beginning. If you're a perfectionist, Instagram might be your platform of choice. It's more polished and curated. But if you prefer being playful and casual with your brand, TikTok is ideal. It's like a creative playground, messy behind the scenes and personal. While Instagram feels more like a space where everything has to look picture perfect. I posted a month before launching my brand to build excitement and engage with potential customers. I shared sneak peeks of my products behind the scenes 
means content and my journey which helped create a sense of community. It was a great way to connect with people before the official launch. I launched on 31st of May. Just in 30 minutes of launching, I had my first order. Here's one thing I wish I had done sooner. I wish I had documented the entire process and journey. I was so eager to enjoy the experience that I didn't want to bother filming and changing camera angles because documenting your journey and being active on social media can really help you build sales and build your community. If you're looking for an established marketplace and are just getting started, Etsy might be the right choice. If you want more control and are ready to invest in a fully branded online store, Shopify is a solid option. And if you prefer a simple, customizable website with integrated selling features, Universe is an excellent choice. Personally, I tried using Etsy but I got scared off by the fees so I backed out. Now I use Shopify for my ceramics and Universe for my personal brand. Initially, I only shipped to Europe, the UK, and Spain. But with my brand's growing global audience, I'm seriously considering expanding my shipping options. I'm a bit nervous about this. What if people don't buy because shipping costs are too high? On the other hand, I don't want to cover the shipping costs myself as that would impact my profitability. It's a tough balance to strike and I'm weighing the potential benefits against the risk. I also look at small business owners on Etsy in my country to see how they price their shipping fees. This gives me ideas on how to set my own shipping prices as well. For packaging, I started with basic supplies, boxes, packing peanuts, and bubble wrap. Initially, I don't want to invest in a full range of packaging materials right away since I wasn't sure how many orders I'd receive. Instead, I bought packaging supplies as needed with each order. I also had to consider the size of the packaging. What if a customer ordered two mugs but I only had a bag that fits one? It's important to think about these details when planning your packaging. Before your website goes live, make sure to double check everything. I learned this the hard way, I rushed through it and overlooked some important details. This step is crucial because you can end up losing money as a result. If there's one thing I've learned from starting a business is that it's both incredibly fun and seriously stressful. But honestly, if I knew how rewarding this journey would be, I would have started much sooner. So don't wait for the perfect moment and just start. I hope these tips help you avoid some of the mistakes I made and give you the confidence to launch your own business. If you found this helpful, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more small business tips. And remember, whether it's farming or any other passion, your business starts with you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.